Hello, and welcome to another edition of Fifth Grade Math. As you can see, it's spring. Hey, buddy, yeah, look. it's spring. Look, look. I got flowers. You do? Yeah. Well, a flower, singular. Yeah, yeah. It's got a lot of petals, though. It does. I mean, less than it had when I started playing with it earlier. Where'd uh, you get it? I found it on the ground outside. Was it attached to a stem? Uh, yes. So you, you plucked it? Yes. Did you ask one of our neighbors if you could take the flower? I was in the joy of the moment, not thinking about anything. Run away with spring! No, 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 I didn't. Alright, well in general, in the future, uh, if you're going to pick a flower, you should ask the person who's growing it before you do that. Unless it's a wild flower, then it doesn't matter. But you know, well, it's fine. Okay. Well, right? I'll ask next time. Alright, yeah, see that you do, okay? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is spring. Weather's getting nicer. School's coming close to an end. We're just coming back from Woo! all kinds of... Well, I was going to say we're coming back from spring break, but by the time you guys see this, that won't be true. Spring break was going to oh. be like a month ago by the time you actually see this. Yeah. So, but whatever. Yeah, this is going to be airing. There's going to be like a month left Yeah, it'll be just like, hey, remember those good spring break days? Yeah, seriously. They're coming back and it's called summer break. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, okay, it's like it's the end of spring break as we're recording this, <sighs> but you're not you're not gonna see this until like May. Spring. So anyway, spring. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are we doing today? So today we're gonna be dealing with one of my favorite things in math. What does Mr. Mandela love in math? <gasps> patterns. We are gonna be dealing with numerical patterns. So oh, what okay. does that mean? I don't know. Well, it means that we're going to be keeping track of how when one group of numbers goes up or goes down, another group of numbers that's related to it also goes up or goes down. Uh, so like if one goes up, the other goes up. If one goes down, the other goes down. Yes, and we'll even work in how to show that on a graph it. as well. Oh. Okay? Oh. So let's pause for a second. I'm going to make a table, and then we're going to resume our lesson and see exactly how that goes. Okay, okay. we'll be right back. I'll stop and smell the flowers. You do that. Okay, so let's say we have a company or a store that makes cupcakes. Yeah, okay. cupcakes. At least you didn't say muffins. Right, because we know how you feel about muffins. Bald-faced, lying cupcakes. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. anyway. Yes. So here we can see that as the number of boxes goes up, the number of cupcakes goes up. So we left a blank here because we're going to figure out what that is in a minute. Yeah. So if you look here... How many cupcakes are in one box? What does the table tell you? Mm, well, it looks like I could get six delicious cupcakes in one box. Correct, because you see one box and six cupcakes. Now, two boxes would be how many cupcakes? Well, that would be 12 cupcakes. No, 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 no. It would. So as we see, as we go up one box, we're adding six more cupcakes on. We could also be multiplying the number of boxes by what number? Oh, by six. Six, you see that? Because for three, we still have a blank here. But for four, mm. is four times six 24? Oh, yeah. It six totally times is. four is 24. So That's knowing right. that, if one box is six, and two boxes uh, is 12, and four boxes is 24, what would three boxes be? Uh, oh, 18. 18, because you did three times six, and that's 18. Yeah. And so what if we had a fifth box? Whoa. How many would I have? I have a stomach ache full. Well, you don't need to eat all five boxes in one sitting. <laughs> challenge accepted. No, that wasn't a challenge. I heard you tell no. me I was supposed to eat all five. I heard you say it. It's on video. Do you really want to review the tape on this? Because it's not going to come out in your favor. I said you don't have to eat all five boxes in one sitting. You mean all 30 cupcakes? <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for summer. Math distraction. A math distraction. A math distraction. I'm sending him to an overnight camp for what? two months. What? Ooh. Yeah. Will Gene be there? Gene will be there. Oh. Yeah. It's called Muppet Mania. <gasps> that sounds really exciting. Yeah, you'll get to do all kinds of fun things, and I won't be there. <sighs> I bet I'm going to get a feather boa. The best Muppets were feather boas. If you say so. Yeah. You Spain would know more leaves. about this than I would. Yes. But I am counting down the days until I put you in a box. What? Pay the postage. And send you to Muppet Mania. Oh, I think they did that in one of the movies already. It's in Alaska. Oh, what? Yeah, and you're getting shipped in a box. What? You're, no. not, you're not flying on a plane. Can I take a couple of these boxes of cupcakes with me? Yes. Oh, that's well, fine. that's all right then. You will be provided with sustenance. Okay. I mean, it's not going to take you that long to get there. But. Oh, yeah. Maybe 
five boxes worth or 30 cupcakes. We all know you'd eat them in the first hour and then spend the next three <laughs> days complaining about your stomach ache. Yeah, and wishing I had more cupcakes. Well, we always wish that. I mean, yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Hey, should we recap this, or do you want to do a couple more examples? So I want to show you how, if we were going to graph something like this, how we do that, okay? Oh, so, oh there's graphing. There oh, is graphing the okay? I'm ahead of the game. So let's take a minute. Okay. We'll come right back, and we're going to graph this data. Do we have any cupcakes? Okay, so if you remember from our last video, we did the x-axis and the y-axis. These are oh, still, yeah. yeah, it's still going to be the x-axis and the y-axis, yeah. but as you can see here with our data, we're not going to label them x and y, okay? Okay. Because we're charting data for boxes of cupcakes, so is this going to be boxes, or is this going to be cupcakes here on my x-axis? Um, well, we had 30 cupcakes in five boxes, so that has to be the boxes side. This is going to be the boxes, correct. Okay. Which makes this what? Cupcakes! Also correct. Make that purple. Mm. Purple cupcakes. Those do exist. Yeah, they do. Frosting can be any color you want. Any to color in the rainbow. Okay, so now we know which one comes first, X or Y. When we grab. Uh, is it X? It is X. Yeah. You think about it alphabetically, X comes before Y in yeah, the alphabet. Because it goes X, Y, Z. So it's over, then up. Remember? That's how we learned this. So over, we have... then up. Over, then up. I remember. Good. We have one box of cupcakes, six cupcakes. Okay. Two boxes. Yep. 12 cupcakes. And you might notice Whoa. that like I didn't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. You don't have to label your x or y axis exactly like by once. Okay? It can be by whatever you want if it suits your data. Okay? Oh. So, you know, if it was one cupcake per box, then yeah, I'd be counting by once. Would those lines still be there? We just didn't write them in. Like, they'd still exist. Sure. It's still, one, one, I mean, it's still 1, 2, 3, two. 4, 5 here. Okay? Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, kind of like on the ruler, like right. the big numbers. And exactly, like they're they're still the there. Yeah, but and like if they were going to be the same size in terms of spaces, this graph would be much steeper. But we're uh, not going to worry about that right now. Okay? okay, so three boxes. The bug flying around my face. Is that from what? your flower? No. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. <laughs> Four boxes. Twenty-four. Hey, that looks. <gasps> Five boxes. That 30. looks like a pattern. It is a pattern. Right? It's, it's a linear graph. My dots aren't exactly perfect. This linear, like line. Lin linear means like a straight line, right? And if we oh. were to go to six boxes, how many cupcakes would it be? Uh, thirty-six. It would be thirty-six. I'm really six. quick at cupcake math. Well, you got to know. You got to know your audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Certain people respond to certain incentives. What? So, and then if you were to actually graph it, drawing a line, you could draw a line connecting them, but you don't have to do that with a graph, okay? So make sure that you label your axes correctly and you graph accordingly, all right? Okay, so every time it goes over, it goes just up the same amount each right. time. Right. Now, you could have a relationship where the more something went, the lower it got, you know, but oh, yeah? we're not really going to focus on that too much right now. Okay. In fifth grade, most of your graphing relationships and your patterns are going to be something going up at the same rate. Sometimes oh. it'll be adding, sometimes it'll be multiplying. Going but up at the same rate. Because this is going up by six each time. Exactly. Is that what you mean? Yes, and sometimes oh. it'll be like a plant starts at six inches and then it grows two inches every month. So oh. you like start at six and then you'd be adding two, eight, eight 10, 12. 10, really 12, with problems like 14. this, none of the math is super complicated. You just need to use your brain and be like, what exactly is happening here? Okay? What exactly is happening? Here? Right. So, you know, we're not going to spend time doing every possible scenario because there's an infinite amount of possibilities in terms of patterns with this. Whoa. Yeah. But, infinite! Yeah, I mean, you could just make up a scenario for just about anything, okay? Like Stu eats, you know, if Stu eats a bag of Takis every day and there's 200 yeah. Takis in the bag, you'd be, you know, in a week we'd be going 200, 400, 800. Yeah. Wait, 600 was in there. I did skip 600, you're right. That's all right, I ate it. <laughs> that was Wednesday if we started on Monday. Yeah. Two, four, 200, 400, 600, 800, all the way up to... A 14, thousand Takis a week! It'd be 1,400 if we count the weekend. Rolling in Takis. Yeah. So, again, right. we're not even going to do a recap. Just recognize the pattern as best you can. See how it's multiplying. It's usually multiplication. Not always, yeah. but usually. And, again, you can be like, well, this is addition. Addition and multiplication are the same thing. One of them's just faster. Okay. So, okay. use your brain... In there. What? Oh, I think that was part of my nose. Your entire head is part of your nose. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Is my brain in my nose? Probably. Oh. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay. We're going to okay. go. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Next time. I need to go find my brain.